also called acetophils. Eosinophils are a type of specialized white blood cells or leukocytes that form a part of the immune system of the body and play an important role in protection against parasitic, bacterial, and viral infections. A blood test which provides reading of number of eosinophils in the body is known as an eosinophil count test. Normal blood specimens usually show eosinophil count as less than 350 eosinophil cells per microliter of blood. High level of eosinophils in the body is an indication of some underlying infection or illness. It is an indication that the body is passing additional quantities of WBCs to fight the invading pathogens. Eosinophils typically consist of a nucleus with two lobes as well as cytoplasm that is full of about 200 big granules filled with proteins and enzymes with varied functions. Eosinophils form in the bone marrow and stay there for around 8 days till they become mature. They then move into the blood vessels and travel across them for about 12 hours before finally arriving at the tissues they need to be at. Eosinophils remain at their destination for about 1 to 2 weeks before getting replaced by a new one. On an average the lifespan of leukocytes is about 5 days. Eosinophil functions are varied and a few of those functions may be same as of other WBCs. They play a vital role in different inflammatory processes, particularly allergic conditions. Also, the cells may be physiologically involved in formation of organs, for example, post-gestational development of mammary glands. The two main functions that eosinophils perform as part of the immune system are listed below. Moving to inflamed areas of the body destroying pathogens that invade the body, trapping harmful matter, bactericidal and antiparasitic activities, and killing abnormal cells. Participation and creation of immediate inflammatory responses to allergic reactions and modulation of the inflammatory reactions and responses. Eosinophils have a particularly significant part to play in asthma and allergy-related inflammation. Inflammation cannot be categorized as bad or good. It aids in control and isolation of the immune system response at the infected site, but may also cause damage to the tissue surrounding the affected area. Immune responses to allergies may often be marked by chronic inflammation. If eosinophil count is above 350 cells per microliter of blood, then it is considered high and abnormal. The condition is known as eosinophilia. High levels of eosinophils may occur due to the below listed causes. Underlying bacterial, parasitic, viral, or fungal infections slash infectious diseases. Allergic disorders like hay fever or rhinoconjunctivitis as well as asthma can increase eosinophil count. Hypoadrenalism and or other types of endocrine diseases. Adverse or allergic reactions to different kinds of medicines, such as interferon, appetite suppressants, tranquilizers, certain antibiotics, and laxatives with psyllium as ingredient. Immunologic conditions like hyper-IgE syndrome, Amund syndrome, etc., as well as immunologic reactions to transplants can result in elevated levels of eosinophils. Leukemia, lymphoma, hyper-eosinophilic, atheroembolic disease, tumors, mastocytosis, or other kinds of blood disorders. Subcutaneous and or skin conditions like pemphigus vulgaris, atopic dermatitis, bullous pemphigoid dermatitis herpetiformis, drug-related abrasions or lesions, urticarial, angioedema, Shulman syndrome, Wells syndrome, Chimoris disease, oral mucosa, recurrent cutaneous necrotizing eosinophilic vasculitis, and eosinophilic ulcers. Gastroesophageal reflux, parasitic infections, fungal infections, infection by Helicobacter pylori, inflammatory bowel disease, food allergic ailments, celiac disease, protein-related enteropathy, allergic colitis, primary eosinophilic esophagitis, pemphigus vegetans, gastroenteritis and other kinds of gastrointestinal diseases. Pulmonary disorders like Leffler's syndrome, allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, eosinophilic lung disease, churg strauss syndrome, pleural eosinophilia, eosinophilic pneumonia, and eosinophilic granuloma. Infection of the central nervous system ventriculoperitoneal shunts, subdural hematoma membranes, drug-related abnormal reactions, and other kinds of neurologic ailments. Hyperosinophilic syndrome, heart damage, Churg-Strauss syndrome, 
and other kinds of cardiac disorders, whether congenital or otherwise. Interstitial nephritis, eosinophilic cystitis, and or other types of renal diseases can also result in eosinophils in urine. If eosinophil count is a lot less than 350 cells per microliter of blood, then it is considered low and abnormal. It can occur due to increased production of a steroid called cortisol which is naturally produced in the body. Alcohol intoxication Eosinophil count is usually measured during a CBC or a complete blood count test. In case abnormal levels of eosinophils are detected in the test, then the doctor may recommend further tests and diagnostic procedures to verify the underlying cause of abnormal eosinophil count. Treatment of abnormal levels of eosinophil count is dependent on the underlying causative disease. Non-malignant causes of eosinophilia may be treated with corticosteroids. Severe cases may require treatments like administration of chemotherapeutic agents or anticoagulant therapy. Sometimes, surgery may be needed to restore function of affected tissues. If you have found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel, Health Destination.